Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on getting Dream Textures for Blender running on AMD GPUs thanks to the recently released experimental builds. So this build will work essentially on most new AMD GPUs, assuming you have um, a GPU that has enough VRAM. And um, I'll be showing you how to install and set it up today. It's honestly quite simple and pretty fast, so let's just get started. So first of all, these AMD builds have only really been announced on the Discord Dream Textures um, Discord server. And um, you'll have to check the Discord server for the latest release. These are definitely um, still works in progress, but the latest build appears to work quite well. So you'll want to check the development channel here to find the latest release for AMD. And I'll be putting a link in the description for the release I'm using today, as of this video being published, um, just for convenience. So, I'll just have this page pulled up right here. And um, what you're going to want to do is pick this download here specifically. You'll want to get the one that says Windows Direct ML, as that is the version for AMD users. So you'll just click that to download it, and then I'll see you guys when it's done. So now that it's done, what you're going to want to do is go to your file explorer and find the zip that just got installed. Now, it's not ready to be um, installed in Blender as an add-on yet. What you first have to do is extract the zip first, because there's actually um, two layers of zips in here. Once this extraction is complete, you'll get this folder, and inside that you'll find another zip file. Now, this is the zip you want to install in Blender. So um, let's do that now. Go to Blender open it up, and then go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then you're going to want to click Install. Then you're going to have to navigate to the directory, and then find the folder that you just had. Okay, so now you'll want to navigate to the directory, so that's in my Downloads, and find the folder that we just extracted. Inside, you'll find that single zip again, and then you're going to select that and press Install Add-on. And now here it'll appear as if nothing happened, but that's just because the add-on is quite big, so it'll take a couple seconds to fully install. Alright, here we go. Module installed. Now we can enable it by checking this box. And then we can click on this drop-down arrow. And then finally, we download Stable Diffusion version 2.1 and we just let it run. Okay, now that it's finally finished, we can close out of this, we're done with this, and we can actually finally use it. So, now I want to show you how to use it. So, you can either use um, the shader editor or the image editor but you'll open up the panel on the right here, and then click on the Dream tab, and you'll get something like this. This is where you can type in what kind of texture you'd like to create. So we have the model set to the Stable Diffusion 2.1. The prompt is going to be for a texture, and then, for example, we can use, I don't know, stitched fabric as an example. And um, as for the seamless axes, I like to have it seamless on both X and Y. And then finally, we press Generate. Now, this is a bit of a wonky result, but that's the kind of what you get with AI. You never know exactly what you'll get, so we're probably going to have to make this much more specific to get some result that we actually like. Let's try, for example, Stitched Tablecloth, and then click Generate again. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.